Hello to camera one, he's there, hello to camera one, we are here baby boy, da 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 dum, do 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 no camera two today, it's just camera one today, I hope you've enjoyed the song, cause it is about to end. Welcome back to Beanie Boys Being Blunt. Throw that bean on, Joe. Yeah. What? It's just two boys in the basement. We're sitting on stage. We got table in front of us, and it's not the color beige. I don't have a beanie on because we ain't smoking blunts. But it ain't over just now for you cunts. Sorry to drop the C word so early in an episode. But hi, welcome back to Beanie Boys Being Blunt. I'm your host, Cameron McKenzie. Uh, co-host Thad B is in Denver telling jokey wokies. So Yo, shout out, shout out, Joe. <laughs> oh, I mean, <laughs> Joe's right next to me. We've got Joe on the ones and twos and threes today, no! baby. We got it behind the camera. How you doing? Yeah, we'll get to you in a second, Joe. But it's time for new jokes. I'm gonna flip a lighter. Hey, this is time for new jokes. <laughs> so the way this is gonna go, you get come and go. I get blank. All right. Come and go. All right. I'm your host for the evening. My name is Cameron. Uh, So your next comic is a guy that, I don't know, I met like three seconds ago at the bar. His name is Joe Bruno. Make some noise, ladies and gents. Hey, everybody. Um, <laughs> This is my... My new bit. Have you seen the uh, the cop dog spot? Like the 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 little robot dog. That yeah, yeah, yeah. On? Yeah, I just ran into one of those uh, for the first time a Shit. little while ago. Yeah, me and some buddies were out in the mountains hiking. Mm -hmm. We were hitting a trail, as one does, and uh, we were off the side of the trail. We were smoking weed. Totally Shout out Colorado. Very and, much. Uh, it ain't a hike without weed. And we're hanging out. We're laughing. We're having a good time. We were talking about something. And then all of a sudden, my two friends in front of me, their face just kind of <laughs> stone up and turn white. And I'm just like, oh, my God, there's got to be a bear behind me. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, is we're it. in nature. This is happening. And uh, and they turn and run for their lives. <clears throat> now, before I, I finish this, that where that was going, I yeah. need you to know two things, though. Number one, I love animals. <laughs> I would never hurt animals. Mm-hmm. Love them. They love me. Yeah. Number two, park rangers, law enforcement. These guys got tough jobs. Sure. It ain't easy. Sure. Um, okay, so they took off running, and I turn around, and it's one of those robot cop dogs with <laughs> a little fucking speaker talking shit about us being off the trail, and I kicked yeah. the shit out of that robot dog <laughs> and ran for my life. Fuck that dog, dude. Bark, bark. That's the sound of the police. That's my time. Hell yeah. Joe Give it up for Joe Bruno with a hot joke. Hell yeah, dude. I like that one. That one's funny. All right, Joe. Uh, you're the your producer, turn? bro. It, no, oh, my turn. I'll oh. do it at the end. Fuck okay. it. Cool, cool. Uh, I got a couple questions for you, but yeah, I mean, yeah. as always, since you're kind of a guest, but you're also a co-host, what the fuck do you even do? What do I do? What the fuck do you do, man? As that uh, would say. During the day, I'm an electrician. Nice. Shout out electricity. I do. <laughs> Are you yeah, team Edison out. or team Tesla? Team... Tesla was the OG. He was the OG. And, and he's got and ties and to and the Edison springs. just sold it all. And now it's just a bunch of companies. It's all money now. It's yeah, it's electricity just, is just capitalism. Yeah. Electricity's capitalism, yeah, dude. Fuck money. Ben Franklin for like getting that key struck. Yeah, you got to have it. Everyone has it, so yeah. you got to call them. What it, what time do you wake up in the morning? Cuz you're um, an electrician. You got you work like I days. get up at like 6 in the morning every day Damn. on the weekdays, on the work days. Shout out. Yeah, yeah, we we got Monday through Fridays. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's nice. I kind of like having a day job. Yeah, no, it's nice. Once you get used to it, too, it's really hard to have situations where they're like, I need yeah. you on Saturday, and I'm like, the fuck are you talking about? I like how we just said fuck capitalism, but then we're like, hey, I don't mind my, a nine my to job's five. My job's actually <laughs> not that bad. Working if, if nine to it, five. They make it cozy. I can, I can fuck with that. For oh, sure. yeah. If um, it's comedy, but if it's fine for comedy. Yeah, but you, you're an electrician I do, I do during the day. Do my day job. You obviously tell jokes. 
Yeah. And then and then I play music too. I play a lot of music. Yeah. I play drums. I, uh, How long uh, you been drumming? Like f- <sighs> probably twenty years. Damn. Oh. Yeah. That's almost as old as dad. That's crazy. He yeah. was like three when he started drumming. And then I've been playing in bands and stuff for like fifteen years. Fuck yeah. So it's like a long time. That is a long time. It's a long time to drum. Mm-hmm. How many bands mm-hmm. total have you been in? Probably like five. I want to say five. It could be like six. I've been in like like, like I've also had projects with friends that were never yeah. necessarily bands. Yeah. You know, like I've had sessions where like like I have some unreleased EPs that are just stuff. Oh shit. And some dudes. Hidden Jill on Bruno the, tracks on the, on the side. <laughs> that was just fun music. Like either it was music that never found a singer. Or sure. It was just like demos that just never really took off. Like yeah. There's You've just made music for mm-hmm. that long. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. You How many bands have you like performed on stage with? Um, because that's different than recording. Probably close to seven or eight. I'd say. Fuck yeah, I'd dude. say, like I've filled in for people. Like yeah. I've learned songs for other people. So I've like jam <laughs> shows. Like I'm getting what's ready the to do that with same dude. Oh, word! Shout, shout out, out same dude. Yeah. Um, what's the shortest notice you've had to get ready for a show where they were like, Joe, we need you to drum. For, like, someone else? Yeah. Or for, like, a show. Because, like, our show, my band, like, we're you pretty well on. polished. So Yeah, it's you, like, well, you guys have been together forever. Like, we had, like, a a week's notice, and we didn't have any practice once when we got that Meow Wolf gig. Oh, yeah, shout was, like, out. like, a week's notice. Shout and, out Why and They Fight and False Report. Yeah. It was a week's notice for that. But we had just played a show, like, two weeks before that. Oh, so we were just kind of like, eh, everyone just t- tighten up and... You get to that level where it's like muscle memory. Like sure. It's just like you don't really have to practice all yeah, you the can time. Yeah, just fucking drum. And what about being like thrown on for like drumming for someone else? Drumming for someone else? Has anyone like have it probably has the been quickest? Of? Nah, Has that ever happened? Oh, that'd be nah, fucked. No, nah, that'd be, be like, so hey, fucked. learn this shit. That'd be so fucked. Unless it was like really simple. Unless punk it was stuff. someone you really knew, like your yeah. like your friend's band, and or you're you like you a fan. Their, yeah. You knew their material really well enough to go up there and like bullshit it. Like, yeah. That's one thing, I guess, but sure. I haven't had that happen. Not on that quick a notice. Usually it's That'd always be been like, hey, we got a gig in like a month and oh, yeah, we need someone to fill in shit. or whatever because our dude's going to be on vacation or Fucking out of town. God, so. Capitalism again. Yeah. All right, change direction. <laughs> what do you say when people knock on the bathroom door and you're in there still? What's your go-to phrase? Uh, someone, someone's in here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> someone's <laughs> in here, dude. <laughs> uh, I say acupado. I don't know why. I've said that my whole life. I just d- scares anyone. Acupado. It's like, oh, I don't know. They're like, oh, it's occupied in Spanish. Occupied, yeah. I, uh, someone knocked on the door the other day. I was taking the selfie, which was kind of embarrassing. Uh, and I said, just two seconds, man. In that exact <laughs> like way, and I was like, "What the fuck? What is it?" I feel like it, anything is weird to say. I'm in here. Yeah, <laughs> like hey, I'm, I'm pooping yeah. right now. Well, it's like I so I in construction, I use a lot of porta potties. Shout out porta potties, right? and Ugh, and God. but they got the thing, they got the lock thing that says yeah. red or green. So Occupied it's like, or vacant? Why'd you knock? Yeah, I'm in here. You see? Yeah, the you see. Sign, you know. You yeah, see the can red. you not? Are you colorblind and illiterate? Is right? that way you work construction? That's a mean. <laughs> that was really mean to construction workers. Hey, but no, I didn't there's mean a it. lot of smart dudes out there. There's a lot. Of well, yeah, they can build dude. stuff, dude. I can't even build of, Legos. A lot of dudes who have ideas sometimes are like, "Oh yeah, dude, we'll just stack three ladders and fucking put dude. a piece of wood, blah blah blah, and figure out how to like, it's like now it's secured." Yeah. Have you seen that video where they stack the ladders and the guy's like, now it's secured, and then he falls through the middle <laughs> at the top? It's yeah, like probably. Cool. Not st- we wouldn't stack them like that, but no. you know what I mean? We just stack like wood and things and be like, okay, it's it's secured. It's secure, dude. Just a bunch of guys standing around in yeah. khaki. I like it. Like Sometimes there's like 20-foot ceilings, and it's like, oh, man, my ladder's How do I get up there? Feet. <laughs> 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 I mean, like, you stand on my push. toes, and then we'll all hold each other mm-hmm. together. Mm-hmm. What's your pizza order, Joe? Because you pizza, fucking love pizza. A, um, what do you? Well, you go to order. Domino's a lot because Do- it's for the deals, it's and it's the right points. there. And it's it's right like by my you house, can see it from your house. It's mostly for the deals. If you don't know, there's a deal <laughs> on Domino's. Shout out Domino's uh, sponsor us. Seven seven ninety nine walkout deal. Dang, no delivery. You know, so what? it's like a pizza for seven ninety nine. But what do you get? Uh, just like one topping. Yeah, but yeah. you, I, I got pizza with you one time. You got thin crust. You oh get yeah, a, I like the you thin like crust. cracker thin. Yeah, sometimes uh, well, at least the Domino's one. 
Some yeah, it's not bad. Some people don't have great thin crust. What's your favorite pizza slice? Like, what's your preferred? Like, when you close your eyes and think Joe loves pizza, what do you? What's the pizza slice? Is it like a one from Goofy movie, where it's super cheesy? Yeah, yeah well, I, I mean, kind of look like that guy. It's like those, those, uh, those Denver slices at Pie Hole. Shout out Pie Hole, dude. Marquee what a great pizza I and stuff like pizza. that. And I guess here in town, the closest things like Fat Sully's. Fat Sully's. Hell's Kitchen is pretty Hell's good Kitchen if you're ever too, in, yeah. in the area that they're Manitou. in. Manitou. Manitou. Manitou Springs. Eighth Street too. Yeah, there's a couple Hell's yeah. Kitchens. There's one in fucking New York. Uh, what's your the worst hairstyle you've ever had on your hair, Joe? Hairstyle around your head. It's a toss up because we're There's we're like you're 33, I'm 29. Mm-hmm. We've had a lot of hairstyles. Yeah. There's probably a moment when I was like 12. There's probably a picture floating around somewhere. There better in, be in my like stuff of of me as a kid, and uh, and I had like a a, a shitty like mohawk and, <laughs> and like polka dots, like kind of like yours, oh, but like fuck of yeah. this blonde on on my head. Oh, nice. Yeah. Was it like was your hair all the same length? You just spiked. I think it, it was into just spiking. I mean, I w- it was. I was twelve. So <laughs> yeah. was, this was like two thousand one. That so was prime was like gel in your hair. Yeah, a lot of spiky. Yeah, frosted, I spiked frosted mine too. tips going on. What did you use? Like, do you remember the gel 41. you bought? I don't remember the gel. Do you remember it what was color just a, it was? I think I tried a couple, and I think they were like you know how they had like the different colored gels, like the yeah. green gel and the yeah. blue gel. Yeah. Like they were just like different colors. As, as they since. did the same thing, but yeah, they were just like yeah. gel. They were like ooh, the cool green stuff. God, and that I hair. can that's such a visceral memory mm-hmm. for me of just like touching fucking gelled hair. You ever have you touched like a kid's like you just run your hair across the top of someone's head who's got gel who's and spiky you see the and it's just the flakes yeah <laughs> you're like god dusting snow on crops so you're just like fuck it yeah do you ever have lice I don't know if we had it or if it was like a scare because someone at school got it. I do remember I had to take the lice bath thing when I was the like, lice bath. Well, lice like, bath well, is a the sick the band, <laughs> dude. I gotta write that down. The shampoo, the treatment they had. Like oh this yeah, chemical you do on your hair. I know I said bath, but it was more like a hair washing. Dude, lice um, bath is such a cool. What was that? Jason, Jason, his guitar. That fat ass. Jesus, that was rude. <laughs> uh, did you wait? Have you ever been a uh, like sprayed by a skunk or whatever, have to do like the tomato bath. Nah, I think I had to close. do it one time. No, I think we, I, don't think I think we me and sprayed. my sisters did when we were kids. I don't think we got sprayed by. It. I think one sprayed off by our house though one time. Dude, that I shit stinks. Yeah, yeah I remember it's that. cool though. I yeah. wish I like that defense. I like mm-hmm. that some animals just go like mm-hmm. and just shoot shit like, like venom. You're gonna smell terrible. Yeah, which one would you want? Would you want like venom out of your teeth or like to shoot a spray or like ink? Out of your out hands. Because the venom out of the teeth, right, you have to make a mark. You have to <laughs> attach. And well, usually, no, there's some that, like, Usually there's going to be someone yanking you off. So That's true. Long, <laughs> long, long-term ah, so living, you know, a lot of times you <laughs> fight a person, you might die also. Unless or you're a get vampire. fucked up, they'll, like, twist your head around because you're stuck in this dude's arm. I uh, well, like some lizards can spit acid mm-hmm. into eyes, which I think Jurassic is Jurassic Park. Cool. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, those yeah. little things exist, man. The last yeah. book I read was a lizard textbook. Nice. It was awesome. Read it cover nice. to cover. Yeah, I'd still owe it to the library. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, you, did they charge you money for that library? Yeah, or did they get rid of like late fees? Uh, I don't know. I think they got rid of late fee. I thought I heard let us maybe know in a the city. Did. Yeah, let us know in the comments. <laughs> let us know in the comments. We should Does your know city? Does Not your have city late, late have fees. late fees? Uh, well, how are we doing on time? Uh, we got about I'm just chit chatting over. Got here. about six minutes till twenty. No bet. Uh, who in the world do you think has the best toe? Or like, like, a, I was talking about this because I had a dream recently that I was a big toe. A toe, like a yeah, like a someone's big toe, and I was just this man's big toe. Mm-hmm. Who do you think has the best toe in the world? Best toe. The best toe, like uh, it's hard to do, to know. Cause think about it. Is, is it graded on like is it a tall person with big feet? Well, no, it's not like best toe bigger? visually. It's like you are the toe. What is the best life for you? For your who toe? has the greatest toe life? Which which oh. big toe in the world? Uh, probably is the best big probably toe. Probably in uh in Asia where they sit on the floor. And they don't have like shit to hit your toe into because everything's <laughs> soft. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. There's no tables in Asia, so you can't stub your toes. Yeah. 
<laughs> that's crazy. I like I love that thinking. Because, yeah, it's got to be like someone with, like, some, a some pampered country, foot. Some country where their culture is like, hey, yeah, we don't They're do the big, big furniture feet. thing we do. Small, yeah. small. <laughs> we do cushions, cushions on the floor. floor yeah. yeah, like Arabia, kind of. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're very much cushions on the floor They type. take care of their toes, dude. They, they do take care of their toes. I've never really seen, They wear like, sandals? Like, yeah. They, they well, my first thought off. was, like, I don't want to be LeBron James' toe. Because, like, an athlete's yeah. toe, ugh, they're scrunching it. They look terrible. Don't look up Shaq's feet. Ooh. Whatever you do, bad idea. Uh saw his shoe once. Yeah. He's got big fucking feet, dude. They, like, traveled it from t- schools. And that was they just kid. shipped his shoe around? Yeah, and they did a little, like, exhibition was for, he like, with two it? weeks. No. He oh, they just well, took his shoe? It was. I was in school in Florida at the time. I don't think he ever came, though. I think it was a thing. I mean, he like played in Orlando for yeah, a bit. Shout out like, Orlando. Shaq. They were just like, take this big shoe. Yeah, this was the 90s, so it was that dude, time. Dude, that was the he was a beast. And um, they just had this shoe in, like, a clear... So I think kept I remember it in the library, that. but it might have went around the country too. I've yeah. definitely seen Shaq shoe, and I don't remember where. So some weird library thing. They're getting us into feet. <laughs> kids, <you know? laughs> yeah, man. Why the fuck are they getting us into feet? I was thinking like uh, those. There's a tribe in Central America that like is the fastest people on Earth apparently because mm-hmm. they've never worn shoes. Yeah, and I bet those feet are fucking hard. Those are like the toughest feet in the world. Oh, That's yeah? a tough toe. Well, they say. That like they said we we like from caveman on to modern human mm. like our feet have gotten more sensitive like have devolved sure, sensitively dude. because like our feet you actually gotta wear shoes well your feet like in caveman form no mm. shoes ever you yeah will, you'll eventually build like this like half inch callus like sh- sure natural it's like a hoof natural soul here's the, the thing that's our bottom. Yeah. I don't think our ass is our bottom. So I never understood, like, when grandmas or something would be like, that's your bottom, not your butt. Like, no, it's not. Your bottom is your feet. Yeah. That's what touches the <laughs> bottom. Your top is your head. <laughs> so it's like, fuck that. Well, it's like, maybe it's just because you, you sit when you poop. It's I, the guess, bottom, it's I guess. That's as bottom as I get there. Yeah. Yeah. For <laughs> some people, that is the bottom. You know? It's, it's bottom like You humor. lost the legs, and it's not yeah. fun. That's true. Then it's just nubbins. <laughs> 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 uh Let's see. Da, 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 da. How long have you been doing comedy, Joe? Oh, I'd say I probably started dabbling in like 2018. Oh, okay, bet. Yeah, like I went like that's when I met Bueno and John Bueno. Shout oh, out and shout out John Bueno for sure. Um, he was running an open mic, and so I went out and hung out. And for me, like I had always had this idea that like as a drummer. Like, right, like, the singers, the guitarists, they can all go out and kind of do these solo projects. Yeah. Kind of get more work. Drummers, I could just keep drumming, but if I wanted to do something different that was kind of like a solo act. Yeah. I wasn't, I'm just not a good singer, you know? Sure. Like, there's a couple drummers that are gifted at that. They were able sure. to go that route. They can make like, music on their own. I can do comedy stuff and try to turn that into something. Yeah. Well, it's like Neil Peart, act. shout out Rush, he was a poet. Like he would just yeah, write he wrote all the lyrics, he wrote all the songs, he but he would just write art, He did the artwork for the albums, dude. Mm-hmm. He was yeah. just an artist, but yeah. then he fucking drummed, mm-hmm. and that was that's it. He didn't have to do anything else. Yeah, and they were a three piece. Dude, like he was, was good uh, enough Rush of a drummer. So he was cool. like a front man in his own right. You know, Rush is the greatest classic rock band. Fucking mm-hmm. fight me, I don't care. That's for the Fuck nerds yeah. out there. Rush, dude. Rush is cool. What classic? Ro- have you seen any classic rock bands in concert? I yeah. saw a fucking. What's your top three? How many have you seen? My first concert ever when I was 14. Um, Who was it? It was Poison, nice. Dokken, L.A. Guns. Whoa. And this was like 2001 or two. Yeah. So this was like some kind of 20-year tour Yeah. at that point. Dude, Poison. Was yeah. it crazy? Was yeah, it crazy it to was see cool. Poison it was young? Just, it was crazy to see the fan because we were young. I was in like yeah. middle school. So it was yeah. crazy. It was like, oh, dude, there's all these old chicks showing their boobs <laughs> <laughs> like all these leather all titties these mullets everywhere like, yeah dude yeah i saw um cheap trick and nice. blue oyster cult nice. uh over in Greeley at the Greeley stampede once yeah. and me and my sister were like the youngest fucking people there by years nice and the um, guy talked shit on bon jovi i was like mm-hmm. don't do that all these yeah. people love him yeah who else have you seen um joan jett and you saw joan billy, jett billy idol they both did warp tour like oh, year. bet. Yeah. Fuck. Shut yeah. up, Warp Tour. Um, I never got to go to Warp Tour. I'm going to change the camera real quick. Keep I em, bet. Keep them distracted. Yeah. I never got to go to Warp Tour, and it really sucks because one time, this is going to show the Christian kid in me, Reliant K was playing Warp Tour, and I was really excited to see him because they were also on with a bunch of cool bands. 
But then the problem was um, my sister went to college that same year, so I had to help move her in, and I couldn't go to fucking warp to her. I was like, this is fucking stupid, man. I wanted to see Reliant K and a bunch of other bands that scared Dude, me. Dude, Reliant K ripped. Reliant K Warped ripped. Tour. I, I know, you were probably there. Which year? Uh, That would have been 09. 09, yeah, that was the year Katy Perry played. Or maybe 08. Yeah. Katy Perry played. Reliant Dude, K was there my too. first, uh, shout out my high school ex-girlfriend. She saw Katy Perry's vagina one time because she was in the front row and Katy Perry was doing warp Tour not wearing underwear and wearing a skirt. And she mm. just looked up and just saw Katy Perry's vagina. And I was like, Wow. Wow. Jenny Strand, yeah. if you're listening, that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, yeah, no, they ripped. Nice. I saw them in 05. Nice. That was peak warp tour there. Yeah, that dude. Was, Man. Uh, I had just, I was still living in Southern Virginia. Yeah, it was like millennial Woodstock, dude. It was. <laughs> yeah. It was because it was like My Chemical Romance. Uh, dude, every Paramore. Fucking Paramore. Fucking. Uh, dude, it was every, every skater band. The used, I think. The used. There was yeah, a lot yeah. of like fucking. Oh, Reliant K. Reliant K. Fallout Boy. Yeah. Oh, Under I Earth. had a question for you. Were you more of a Fallout Boy or Panic of the Disco type guy? Fallout Boy. Yeah, you look like a Fallout Boy. Boy. I Dude, look their first like couple I albums really ripped. The drumming was insane. This really like looks like Fallout Boy fan talking to a Panic at the Disco <laughs> fan right now, which is funny because I didn't give a shit about Panic. Uh, I didn't. I liked some Fallout Boy shit. I don't know. What did I listen to then? Some fucking sad stuff. Yeah, we're at like five minutes. Okay, bet. Uh, I guess I'll tell some new jokes. Yeah. Yeah. If you I'll want, intro you. You got anything you want to plug? Uh, Octo. This will probably drop. Yeah, this is dropping on second, Sunday. Um, October second. On the seventh at Vultures bet. is a uh. Halloween cover show. I'm I'm playing in a Paramore cover band. Nice. Oh yeah, yeah. we were just talking about that. And there's that gonna you have be to a, there's gonna be a My Chemical Romance cover band. Oh nice. Yeah. You were talking about they they're making you play some Paramore songs that you don't like. Yeah, there was some I didn't know. Yeah, that fuck them. I, I was like, it was the era, a couple years where I yeah. just tuned out. That record didn't catch me. <laughs> I didn't catch those singles at all. I get. I it. caught like the next two albums, and I caught like the first two albums, but there was yeah. like this. You didn't eat the album. sandwich. You just ate the bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm learning them, so it's gonna be fun. It'll we be. We got fun. a lot of it down. It's gonna be great. Fuck yeah! Um, Here, last question for you: What's your favorite cold sandwich? Cold sandwich. Um. <laughs> um Dude, that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think that didn't help at all but just um, like when you were a kid what'd you throw together probably just ham and cheese ham and cheese yeah. all right word yeah all right give it up for joe bruno ham and cheese pb and j fan baby thanks joe yeah will you host you. and bring yeah, me up yeah hey guys everybody uh That's how you it. doing tonight Woo! fuck yeah Hey, next up, man. He's a good buddy of ours. Uh, he's doing a show tomorrow. This is gonna air. Yeah, after it. This but will. He's got some other shows coming up too. Follow Deckhand420 on Instagram. Everybody, Shout it's Cameron McKinji. Hey, McKinney. McKinji. Thank you, Joe Bruno. I'm Thad B. That's the first one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I dress like an old vegan. All right. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's so dumb so i've got like a lot of voices in my head um not the one that says get that kid but like a different <laughs> one it's like an inner like you do you have an inner monologue yeah i think we all do yeah some people do and i've i have a lot of distracting voices on the side but they're all like characters they're mm -hmm. not saying anything nefarious or whatever it's like i recently have this old scottish baker woman who's accepting a nobel peace prize <laughs> <laughs> sugar is not a flavor sugar is an ingredient thank you very much like why does that go through my head at least four times a day it's fucking stupid also like yeah this is just a side rant sugar is not a flavor a sugar cookie that's bullshit pick a different it's a vanilla cookie mm -hmm. but like sugar shouldn't be your main ingredient anyway Shout out. back when i was a kid there was just two types of things. There was just peanut butter and there was butter. Remember that? Where it was just the days of just the two butters? Two butters. Two butter yeah. time. Nowadays, you got all these other butters like almond butter, cashew mm -hmm. butter, fucking apple butter. 
honey butter. Three types of peanut butter. There's three types of peanut butter. You got crunchy, creamy, extra crunchy. Mm-hmm. Maybe even some other shit. When yeah. will it end? Capitalism. It's capital. <laughs> it's like, dude, butters and pronouns, dude. That's whatever, all it is. Whatever the people want. Whatever the people want. I mean, there are 26 letters in the alphabet, so I feel like we can just take all those up for the LGBT plus, <laughs> and then let's do the same thing with peanut butter and butters. Because <laughs> fuck it. Do you prefer? Here's a question: Do you prefer butter or peanut butter? Uh, depends on the, c- the the food, I guess. Exactly. I like both. Anything else to say about? Th- Ooh, I don't have anything else to say about that. But fuck that. Um, I don't like flying. I th- it's uh, a lot of people like flying. I don't like uh, flying, and I think it makes sense mm-hmm. because I'm trapped in the sky. Yeah. For hours, mm-hmm. and I don't like it because I'm a mammal. <laughs> It should like that should be as it's as simple as that. Uh, do you see like there. deer in the sky? No, yeah. they don't want to be fucking up there. If you no. brought a deer in the sky, be horrified. Are birds mammals? Birds are aviaries. They're in a oh. different kingdom, thing, phyla yeah. type they're thing, dinosaurs, genus they, species. They are. They they are not. They're not What's the same. Left? Yeah, it's like we're in the middle ground. So there's birds, mammals, and fishes. Yeah. So like. I'm on the ground. Keep my feet on the earth. I'm like an old man in the 1800s yeah. where it's like, if we were meant to fly, we'd have <laughs> jetpacks on our backs. Like, I'm... Shout out SpongeBob. Is that 20 minutes? Uh, that's like... Uh, that's 24. Some, 24? Here, I'll end it. Here, you want to give me the light? Yeah. Nice. This is a good one. Oh, shit. I'm getting the light. So, uh, <laughs> I, got, oh, I got one to end on. Um, I shook a woman's hand today, and uh, she broke my fingers. That's feminism. Anyway, I've been Cameron McKenzie. Woo! Thank you. Fuck yeah, Joe. Thanks for doing this, being behind the camera instead of in yeah. front, behind. Yeah, Are you dude. behind it? I don't know. It's like over to the there. Side. It's yeah. looking at us. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's been a podcast. Throw on a beat, Joe. Hey. Hey, 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 there's beans on the table, then a no eat around. I broke a pipe today, it's got me feeling down. Gonna put a beanie on my head, cause it's cold outside. And I'm gonna do some shit like I'm a running, sip and slide in the rain. Shout out wetness. All right, that's my beanie boys being blunt. Give Thank it up you. for Thad B at Comedy Works. Woo woo! Fuck off. Bye.